the drop off. What's the play here, Nathan? Just follow my lead. Uncharted 4 is a powerful game about loss, betrayal, regret, and redemption. In both its momentous set pieces and its intimate personal moments, Uncharted 4 drives its narrative forward with a rare understanding of its characters, its world, and the gameplay tying them all together. It's a stunning combination of disparate parts. It's a breathtaking marvel of a game. By this point in the series, developer Naughty Dog has led us across the globe in search of famous treasures from equally famous legends. In Uncharted 4, however, we find protagonist Nathan Drake leading a quiet life with freelance journalist Elena Fisher, who also happens to be his wife. They live in New Orleans. They have a three-bedroom house. They play video games together. But this all changes with the return of Nathan's older brother Sam, who was thought to be dead for 15 years. Not only is he alive and well, but he also has a lead on one of history's greatest treasures, the loot of the pirate Henry Avery, which the brothers have sought since their early days of treasure hunting. As with previous titles, Uncharted 4 revolves around third-person combat, climbing, and puzzle solving. But unlike its predecessors, this game often lets you sneak past enemy soldiers without doing any harm at all. Stealth requires a more patient, measured approach, but it feeds into the idea of a more reserved Nathan. As does the fact that you don't always have to kill anyone here unless you want to. Uncharted 4's action has a symbiotic relationship with its story. There are minor mechanical problems. The cover system can send you to the wrong obstacle or wall in the middle of firefights, and rarely, Nathan will grab the wrong ledge when climbing. But these observations wash away within the grand scheme of things. There's always something incredible around the corner to erase the momentary annoyances. In terms of structure, Uncharted 4 embraces a more open approach with much of its level design. There are small sandboxes where you climb towers, learn the layout, mark enemies, and choose to fight through them, or circumvent the group entirely. These areas would hurt the pace of a lesser game, but Uncharted 4 keeps tension alive even in its calculated moments, transitioning from open areas to action sequences without halting the momentum. And speaking of, Uncharted 4's set pieces are the best in the series and among the best coordinated stunts in the medium. Just when you think Uncharted 4 might settle into a steady rhythm, it throws something new at you with high velocity and incredible power. These sequences give you agency, but also enough guidance to maintain the euphoric rush of a car chase without constantly dying. Uncharted 4 directs you with its camera and lighting, and also audio cues. Characters shout over the din of gunfire, telling you when to fight or when to just keep running. The dialogue makes sense within the moment. Everything just feels and sounds right. And then there's the presentation of it all. The cinematography, both in-game and during cutscenes, it amplifies the wonder of this gorgeous world. There's also stunning animation at play, and it sets a new watermark for games in the way it can illustrate subtle emotions like distrust or yearning. Uncharted 4's multiplayer, though, ditches grounded storytelling in favor of all-out chaos. You can use what are called mysticals, or artifacts with supernatural abilities that are taken from throughout the series. You can also summon AI snipers and medics to aid your team's efforts. Uncharted 4's multiplayer exhibits the necessary creativity to elevate its already fluid third-person mechanics. But although the multiplayer works well, and it features a progression system that can keep you playing past your first few matches, it's not the primary draw. You hear that fat lady singing? The lure of Uncharted 4 is in its remarkable single-player journey, how each of its parts feeds into the same cohesive whole. Uncharted 4 bounces between set pieces and personal moments with such grace, with such skill and poise and affection for its characters, that you don't mind when the guns stop firing, and the smoke clears, and Nathan gets a moment to breathe. Yes, this is a thrilling adventure through exotic locations with spectacular action sequences and a pacing that pulls you through with ease. I had a smile on my face the moment it began. But it's also a story about family. It's a story about self-examination. And most of all, as its final moments make clear, this is a story about storytelling. The importance we lend our idols, legends, and myths. How we pass down the ones that inspire us. In its writing, in its design, in its understanding of what makes games unique, Uncharted 4 is something to aspire to. It's a shining example, and we'll be talking about it for years to come. Ah! What? Where are you? I'm in... Here, being stabbed with a fork. <laughs>